Hey guys, Salerno here from PlayToEarn.net. Today's video is another episode of our series, 5 Games If You Like, where I talk about blockchain games you can play if you like a certain traditional game. For this episode, we'll be looking at PlayToEarn games you can look at if you are a fan of Genshin Impact, the RPG game by Hoyoverse. So without further ado, let's get to the list. The first game on our list is Stella Fantasy. Stella Fantasy is a premium collectible NFT RPG being built using Unreal Engine 4. In Stella Fantasy, players can use their characters to explore, hunt, or farm and earn rewards by playing the game. Stella Fantasy is an RPG game that features real-time action combat. If you've played games like Genshin Impact or Zelda Breath of the Wild, then this gameplay might be familiar to you. The main NFTs in the game are the characters that you use to play. Each character NFT has a role, combat style, element, attack type, stats, and skills that determine how you can play them. Players can form a team of up to 4 characters to use while exploring the game. They can swap characters freely and take advantage of synergies between them to make an effective team. The game has multiple features, the main one being the Abyss Rifts. These are unique dungeons players can challenge during rewards if they finish it. There will be different types of Abyss Rifts with PvE and PvP elements available to provide diversified experiences. There is also a private land feature, where players build their own town and manage its infrastructures to produce resources. They can assign their characters to gather materials like wood, leather, and minerals. They can then use these to craft, creating in-game NFTs which can be traded. There will also be PvP competitions for players to compete with each other. These will have ranks and leaderboards, and will be seasonal and offer big rewards. The two tokens in the game are Mana Ring and SFTY. Mana Ring is the in-game currency which can be earned in-game, while SFTY is the governance token earned from special abyss rifts, boss raids, and ranked matches. According to their roadmap, a release is expected this November. You can check out their website for more details. The next game on our list is Big Time. Big Time is a multiplayer action RPG being built on Ethereum. In Big Time, you can team up with friends and adventure across time and space. You can fight through procedurally generated dungeons and have a chance to earn NFT loot. You choose a character in a class and you can explore the world and fight dungeons with friends to defeat enemies and earn rewards. The game features third-person action gameplay with four different classes to choose from. Time Warrior, Chronomancer, Shadowblade, and Quantum Fixer. Each class has a different specialty and playstyle similar to what you would expect from typical RPGs. Big Time's Pocket Watch system allows you to level up the same character in multiple class paths and also to freely switch between them depending on the needs of your team. Aside from your class, there are also different weapon choices to consider depending on your playstyle. Weapons have 5 stats to consider, with each weapon having a different ratio of these stats. These are damage, speed, range, combo, and blocking. Each player also gets a time machine that they can decorate with all the artifacts they get from their adventures. You can also invite your friends to hang out in your time machine and go exploring after. You can team up with up to 6 players to raid procedurally generated dungeons, with AI filling the spot if the team is lacking. Dungeons can reward you with NFT items that you can sell on the game's marketplace. And outside dungeons, you can interact with other players in social spaces and open world levels. The main ways of earning is by getting NFT loot that you can find in dungeons while playing. You can then sell these NFTs to other players if you are lucky to find a rare one, which can then be bought using Ethereum, Bitcoin, USDC, or even debit and credit cards. You can check out their website for more details. If you're enjoying this list so far, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from so you can actually find what you're looking for. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're always updated with our videos. Now let's get back to the list. The next game on our list is Nino Kuni Crossworlds. Nino Kuni Crossworlds is an open world action MMORPG developed by Netmarble Neo, based on Nino Kuni IP. It is famous for its collaboration between Level 5 and Studio Ghibli. In this game, players control a character and explore a world which they have to save from impending doom. The game is free to play and features 5 characters players can choose from when starting. There is the Engineer, who can wield various firearms and heal friends during fights, the Destroyer, who wields a large hammer to decimate enemies, the Swordsman, who can attack fast with a balanced one-handed sword, the Witch, who can cast various skill effects with her flying spear, and the Rogue, a ranged damage dealer who attacks with volleys of arrows and quick movement, but can also act as a support. The game also features familiars, which are loyal pets players have to help them with their journey. A few familiars are Polarin, Petal, Penguicorn, and Sparky. Players can send familiars out on adventures to possibly bring back rewards. As players follow the story, they go to different locations like the Eastern Heartlands, Burning Desert, Witch Woods, and Winter Wonderland. Players can even grow crops on their own land and visit other players' farms to socialize. Players can earn two tokens while playing the game. The Asteroid token can be earned each week by earning a high rank in the game's PvP mode, such as Lava Valley or Familiar Arena, while the Terrorite tokens can be earned through PvE activities and by Familiar Adventures. These two tokens can then be exchanged for others on the Marblex wallet. If you want to try the game out, you can check their website. The next game on our list is Chain Monsters. Chain Monsters is an MMORPG monster collecting game built on Flow. In Chain Monsters, players can catch, trade, and battle with different types of monsters while exploring the world at the same time. Players can create the perfect team with the monsters they catch so they can become the strongest player. The game takes place on a region called Ancora, where players can explore a 3D world while looking for the perfect monsters to capture. There are 161 monsters in the game and they are called Chain Mons. 
Each chainmon has their strengths, weaknesses, traits, and abilities, so you have a lot of choices to choose from when making your team. The game also has a player-driven economy, so the resources you can find while exploring can be used to upgrade your chainmons, or even be sold to other players who need them more. As of this recording, their foundation sale is live, and their demo is also available for anyone interested to try. You can check their website for more details. And the last game on our list is the Galaxy of Lemuria. The Galaxy of Lemuria is a blockchain-based MMORPG being built on the Polygon network. The game features a trading card-based system with a vast procedurally generated galaxy for players to explore and potentially earn rewards while playing. The Galaxy of Lemuria takes inspiration from three games in the same genre, which would explain if you think the footage looked familiar. The art direction is inspired from Nino Kuni, the game type from Maple Story, and the content inspired by Ragnarok Online. The game has both PvE and PvP gameplay. Under PvE, there are dungeons, raids, and general overworld exploration, while under PvP, there is dueling and competitive play. There are eight different hero classes players can choose for their characters, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. These are Assassin, Berserker, Mage, Monk, Necromancer, Priest, Ranger, and Warrior. And under each class is a mastery system that provides even more customized playstyles, depending on the player. Like I mentioned earlier, the game features a trading card-based system. The cards in the game access the abilities that players can use, which provides a lot of variety in what players can do combat-wise. And there are also different equipment you can use, with each character having 16 different armor slots. The type of armor players can equip depends on the character class. Other features in the game include various items, crafting, building personal houses, and a dynamic world with weather, day and night, and seasons. The game will be free to play for users who want to try, until their character reaches level 20. After that, they can purchase an NFT character to unlock the entire game experience. You can check out their website and Discord for more details. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you're looking for a blockchain equivalent of RPG games like Genshin Impact, then I hope this list helped you out. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info and everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video!